uh, meeting of the uh, County Commissioners. Uh, I'd like to start uh, with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. service at OD on, uh, on drugs and, uh, and, and passed within the last uh, month and the thing that we have to I think that we have to think about is not only do we send people in harm's way but we have to remember them when they come back out of harm's way that uh, it seems that a year out is when they're very vulnerable so I want folks to think about that as we have a moment of silence to remember. any public comment? Seeing none, uh, the uh, uh, next thing is the discussion on Tim Priory's lease extension. I believe you have the detail of that, Mark. Yes, well, as you know, um, way back in, um, geez, refresh my memory, Tim, 2008, eight, eight, eight. Um, we, the sheriff was leaving the farm and we did an RFP. Um, to lease the farm out, and uh, Tim was a successful respondent to that RFP. And one of the conditions that were included in the RFP and in the subsequent lease document was an original term of three years for the lease, plus the ability to extend the lease for an additional seven years. Um, Tim, on August 10th of this year, sent us a letter indicating that he is interested in extending the lease for another seven years. Um, as you know, uh, maybe anecdotally or directly, Tim has done a great job out here. All the feedback that I've gotten is he's done a wonderful job. You see the farm springing back to life, uh, so to speak. You see this peep that he's got out here. We're gonna go see a couple of pigs that he has out in the back. So um, um, he is, I think, a worthy tenant, but um, let me just turn it over, I guess, Tim, to you, and you can kind of talk about it a little bit about what you've done and right. what you hope to accomplish over the next few years if we approve the lease. Well, thanks, Mark. I appreciate that comment there about doing a good job. I think we're, Thank you. We're, we're trying to do that. Um, I guess let me start by um, what we have actually done here to, for improvements. Um, and we'll start from the backfields. We put in a new compost area, and I think originally we had um, designated about five thousand dollars for that. Um, we ended up um, through grant money putting in a, a, a compost area that's worth uh, fifty-four thousand seven hundred dollars, which is pretty substantial. Um, let's see, the solar voltaic system. Uh, we put that in to save. Electricity. And that was seventy-six thousand uh, two hundred and sixty dollars. Um, and again, from mostly grant money, some of some of our own money. Uh, update, updates in the greenhouse. You know, some fans we put in there. Um, we put in a couple of heaters that the sheriff took out. Um, you know, that was approximately about twenty-seven hundred dollars. Uh, put. We've got a new irrigation system. The whole place has got new irrigation system. You, you really don't see it underneath. Mm -hmm. um, the cost of the pipe itself um, it was $28,568. So, um, and that's, that's without labor. You know, that's well, without the labor we had put into it. Um, we've got approximately about 3900 to 4000 um, linear feet of irrigation put out back in field six. And we still got to update some stuff in the pump house there, some um, pressure reducers and stuff like that. Um, and that didn't have water before, Tim, did it? You had to put new water out there? Um, the backfield didn't have water except for Bill's nursery. Yeah. This, this out here we had all um, yeah, this was all on top of it. This, yeah. this is all on top of the ground. We, we, we've uh, buried everything uh, with um, uh, 
two inch poly. It's a pretty substantial job. Um, the other thing we did, we put in a, approximately a, thousand, a ten thousand square feet of chicken pen out back too, which, was, uh, which cost us. I mean, that one was our, our project it cost about fifty-two hundred dollars. Um, I might mention that those eggs are really sensational. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> and if, any, if anybody's looking for really good tasting eggs, you ought to come see you. That's right. We do have an egg club this winter too. Cool. Um, Let's see, what else have we done? We constructed the farm stand. That was approximately $6,000. Um, uh, oh, we ran water down from here all the way down to the egg house because the pipes were uh, galvanized pipes and they kept breaking and instead of going around. Uh, and then we put in a blueberry planting up front, but which we have eventually moved out back. So, um, so we, we've done quite a few updates uh, and that doesn't pertain to the soil. I mean the soil is a different I, mean, I don't know how many tons of stone we, we've got a stone picker that we purchased um, that we, we've been picking stones out every year. And, uh, I mean that's a, a substantial Where do you think all of those fences came from? Those stone fences? <laughs> oh god yeah I mean it's, it's, it's brutal though it, it seems like some somewhere down the line just got deep to and something got stripped off of it because the soil quality isn't great but we, we've added quite a few amendments you know compost um, uh, and we have been buying it in and now next year we're going to start using our own that's great uh, um, and, and I, I think that's one of our main concerns is get that soil working up um, we're also, next year, we're kind of excited about it. We're going to be working with Larry, uh, the entomologist, uh, doing some uh, experimental projects. We're going to work hand in hand uh, with uh, some insect control stuff, the cucumber beetle, and, uh, which is, is a real problem. And uh, Larry's got some good ideas. We're going to do some test plots and, and different ideas. And uh, also with the uh, seed corn maggot, which is a problem. We, we've been having, we tried corn this year, and we didn't have great success. And how to, you know, there's a few reasons for it. But we're going to, uh, trichogamia, which is a wasp, we're going to utilize that and uh, do some entrust, uh, do some plots. And uh, we're trying, we're, we're going to be working with the extension service, doing some of that, you know, um, as an experiment, which is, in the broader sense would probably help the whole community. On corn, do we have is the soil heavy enough to you know to support corn? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can side dress too. We were side dressing on it and stuff too. Yeah. Um, our only problem, I mean, we, we had corn here. Yeah, everything came, and, and if you don't, if the timing isn't right, particularly with the organics here, you're, you're done. Mm -hmm. you know. But it was an experiment, and you know, we got some beautiful corn stalks out of it. <laughs> right. Um, so, what are you looking at? Well, number one, how are how are how's the public, you know, responding to your the new life here? I mean, are there more and more people coming? I mean, I know that it is. You I know, see cars coming down here. And this past year has really picked up. I mm -hmm. mean, it's it's nice. I, and I think that the CSA, the, you know, our first year with the CSA was. We and say what CSA is? I'm Community sorry. Supported Agriculture, okay. people buying right. for a subscription. It was tough. I mean, we had rain, uh, uh, strawberries melted, mm -hmm. tomatoes went down. I mean, right. it, was, it was brutal. So, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't good. Second year was much better. Third year, this is an incredible year. I mean, all we get is uh, every, everybody is so thrilled. I mean, we've, we've had some really good crops. So, it's, it, it's, it's expanding. It. It's expanding. We have also, uh, we got into pigs this year too. We're, we're, um, we got some Berkshires, but we, we also got some uh, large blacks, um, which if you look on their website, they're supposed to be the only 300 breed, you know, uh, breeding pairs in the country. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure about that. I, I mean, I, I'm a little skeptical about that. But I went up to Maine uh, a few weeks ago and bought a boar, and this, these people, these pigs graze, they don't root. It's, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's like it's a, having sheep out on a pasture. They graze, and they don't root. And, uh, 
she feeds them a half a can of uh, half a coffee can a day each each pig of grain, and the rest of it is is uh, I mean Just very yeah. very self sufficient. The meat is red. Uh, is it Yorkshire? <coughs> no, this is the large blacks. Yeah. And we'll, we'll get to see. We had actually we had um, two litters two weeks ago down back there, and they look like puppies. They're they're, they're different. Well, so, it's interesting, but they're not you know they're not rooting because one of the things when we went to that uh, demonstration over the meadow yes. was that they were relying upon the rooting ca characteristics of you know of uh, of swine in order to clear up what they're you know what the uh, but the sheep could clear off on you know on the surface. On the top, right? Yeah, it, it depends on the breed. These I think would root if they didn't have a good pasture. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, my, that's my feeling on that. Are you thinking of uh, any other livestock in the future? Uh, sheep. We've got um, tentatively we've got six sheep coming from um, six ewes coming from the uh, farm institute over in the vineyard. And were those are going to go, you know, I remember there was a question that was brought up, is it that this acre here, is that the one that was in question? Um, we weren't sure if that was in part of the whole deal, which it was. You're talking about the car lease. property and that? Yes. Yeah, that that that's, that's, a separate, that's a separate piece. It's a separate it's piece. Yeah. It's off of, isn't that, isn't it over here? Bill? Is, right there, is that right where your, um, right do you have any plans for that? Yeah, yeah that is. Sure. Well, well, we, part we of part of I see. Yeah. Part of the it's included in this it, lease, though. It is. Because yeah. we are, well, maybe we get it. we're yeah. sort of response, responsible it's for the cop property. Mrs. Mrs. Cobb left it to the town of Barnstable, right. mm -hmm. but there's a, the provision is that the county maintains it, and, Manage yes, it right. yeah. and it should be managed as an agricultural entity. Right. And it was included in our RFP in the original lease. Right. 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 We, we did hay it this year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the the idea is to get that uh, the pasture land back in so that we can get good good hay out. There. I mean, right. it was weeding, and uh, I think what we're going to have to do is go and spike seed it with the different grasses. Mm -hmm. to the farms and stuff like that, but uh, the... Uh, so that would definitely be for that type of field. Right, right. right. It's not going to be a grazing field. Not that one, but there's another another parcel um, bordering on that that is part of that that will be for grazing. Mm -hmm. And actually, there, out back here mm -hmm. is a path that go, runs right down to that, mm -hmm. believe it or not. That there is an ancient easement that you run your cattle or your, you know, whatever you have down there. When so the county had cows, they used to bring them down there to yeah. the graze. Yeah. Right. It's 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 this, this one section that's got bamboo on it now, ornamental bamboo. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, yeah, we got to... You got to take care to watch that. Yeah, we we'll just have to mow it down a few times. Now, mm -hmm. getting back to the, uh, you know, to the uh, piece of property, one of the things that I noticed is there seems to be a, an increase of interest in something called decorative grasses. Ornamentals. Or ornamentals, and I'm wondering whether or not that would be a that would be a site where you could develop some that could be part of what uh, you know what you offer on the farm stand. Yeah, and just a question. Yeah, I don't really want to go that way. Um, okay. That's um, we're we're trying to get in. The USDA has got a program now where they where they're promoting uh, native grasses and they're doing them in uh, two-inch pots, and uh, I think we're going to. We, we, we did sign on with them tentatively to start Pardon me, I'm sorry. And then we did start kind of patents and all on the floor. And there was some, um, oh God, there were some different um, pine barren and stuff. So um, we do want to do that. We do American beach grass already. Mm -hmm. we, we do do some spartina patents of variety called that one. The beach grass has, uh, it throws out roots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go 40 feet or so. Yeah. Okay. And um, so we do want to do it. We want to do it on a plugging system so that the season can get extended into uh, May, June, and, and perhaps July. Speaking of season being extended, one of the uh, one of the things I recall was that uh, the Cape at one point was a garden, you know, was a so-called garden support or vegetable garden support, and it had more than one season of crops. Uh, and, uh, and the area that we described was at Forestdale, you know, that was oh, closer, yeah. to, uh, closer to the canal. Have you found in your three years, uh, it, it, is it mild enough that with scheduling you could you could actually you know have more than one you know, one uh, season 
or, or let's say more than one season and maybe make multiple crops you know, through that period? Yes, but well we do now, you know, we're uh, we're still picking beans, which is kind of unusual. We'll pick beans for a couple of weeks now too. But I was thinking of also when I was in Scotland, this um, phenomenal thing they're doing over there with strawberries. They get these uh, high tunnels which should destroy the growing strawberries, in. and they're 500 feet long and uh, uh, about 18 feet wide. And it, it was. Relatively, it was like it was today over there, but the, the berries, they were loaded. I mean, it was just absolutely, what a, what a system they get going there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, you know, I'd like to get a couple of them going somewhere here, you know, mm -hmm. for season extension. Um, it looks like they, they probably do go into uh, late um, mid-November over there, which is... Oh. Nice. Like, yeah, I would like to do it. Berries, you know, there's some crops like strawberries are, are very... Uh, Lucrative. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of money in it. Right. So, and then it attracts people in for your other produce. But I, I would. You know. Okay. Um, and we do do some, we've got some native plants out there and, and uh, coastal plants. We, we do some day berry beach palm, those are those also. And uh, hydrangeas, which, which is a, a coastal plant, but we're, we're going to stock it and propagate it. Too. It's just one of those cake things, you know. It's, right. But that's sort of going into the landscaping, and you're really looking at the agricultural food production. Right. That's that's really our main focus. Right. On. We, right. We find that we we've got to be a little di diversified. Right. Because we I don't think it, we we want to be able to be where we are right now if we weren't if we were doing just vegetables at this point. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're trying to get into the livestock. Right. Um, and, and, uh, now. <coughs> The pigs you have, they would eventually be, you were saying that they have red meat, so they would eventually go to slaughter, yes. right? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I know. I, I'm going to have a really bad time. What you do you do? You hang it on a, on a pork, and then you just yeah. let the throat no. in. No, 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 I know, no, I know, no, Bill. No, no. Um, anyway, uh, but that would have to go off Cape to have that happen. Is that, is that yeah. what happens? You have it processed and then have right. it brought back, and you would right. sell it that way? There, there is a place up in Athol, and... Uh, um, I've heard that they do on certain weeks and, and certain days they'll do organic and it's USDA certified but mm -hmm. it'll be USDA organic certified okay. so um, that, that's where we're heading. All right. And uh, in actuality we, we can get two um, litters a year out of these pigs so um, we're hoping that in, a, in six months I mean they go from newborn to six months is 240 pounds. Now, immediately go to flash freezing when uh, they could they flash freeze it and uh, we're, we're hoping to sell it out of there as frozen meat mm -hmm. out of the farms mm -hmm. you know, with the USDA mm -hmm. label on it. Now do you do would you have the guy do any preparation like sausage or oh, yeah. ham and they do all that stuff? They smoke yeah. it yeah. and you know it'd be I, I think it'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I do too. Mm -hmm. Do you make any salami? I guess they could, you know. I, I, I really want to look into making prosciutto. Oh, prosciutto, all right. Yeah. Or even, or even a, a nice dry ham. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the PMB Beaujolais down there in um, uh, uh, Wellfleet wants to buy a whole pig, but also with the right. idea that they want to make their own prosciutto because they do. These large black pigs are very similar to the pigs over in Spain. Mm. Except they get fed on acorns. Yeah. <laughs> so well, there's a lot of oak on the cake. You know? Yeah. And uh and she's this I think like three slices down there is fifteen bucks. Yeah, it's expensive. I mean, it's yeah, like yeah. they just shave it and then they bring it over and you know, yeah. it's fifteen bucks out of your pocket as they go. <laughs> so so the boulangerie wants to serve homegrown pork. Um, Oh, Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah, mm -hmm. they, yeah, they do. Well, he does that in um, uh, in the Midwest. He has uh, an organic uh, uh, cow farmer, I guess, what would you call it? Uh, pig farm. Yeah, well, it's not a pig farm. I mean, it's the beef. Yeah. You know, it's the beef. Oh. And he will go and he will pick out the, the cows he wants, and he has it done. He has it cut to certain specifications, and then it's all... F and then he has... And then he um, cures it himself. Uh, for so many days, and then he 
and has that all set. So that's why their stakes are like incredible. Yeah. And uh, but it's all really hand picked, and he and he does all. He tries to buy all local vegetables. Yeah, he, we do. Yeah, they're business. really they do a great job, and they're fabulous yeah. restaurants. Yeah, we do a lot of business with them. Good. 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 I'm glad you had that. I, I think uh, another great asset here is the fact that. Tim does work with a lot of restaurants yeah. on the Cape yeah. and provides local products to the Cape and and people who come here and people who live here want to buy go to restaurants that deal with local products. Right. Well, that's the whole point, point of the buy fresh by local. Absolutely. Yeah. Access to, all, you know, to the yep. I think it's also yeah. the point of having a farm. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, right. uh, sponsored by the county is that right. uh, you're really meeting the needs of the people who live here. Yeah. yeah. And and through the. Oh, we hear about it, jobs in the news and so forth, and you provide a lot of jobs. So. Yes. Uh, the American kids that are coming back to work, it, it, it's three years ago, I couldn't get American kids. Now they're lining up. I mean, they want to get into farming or they want to, uh, you know, these kids want to work. Great kids, too. I mean, these, I think every kid that I had except one was in college. I mean, mm -hmm. And in great colleges too. We Princeton. Uh, we had a girl from Harvard, Northeastern. I mean, it just went on and on and on. And the work ethic has changed. I mean, they work. How many? Good. How many employees? <laughs> do? How many employees? Do? We had uh, well in season. I think we had twenty. Well, that's good. But I mean, it, it fluctuates. I mean, the springtime, you know, you have four, and then mm -hmm. you know, right now we get six. So it's like. Right. Right, it's that big When you think oh. of open space, 20 jobs, providing yeah. food to the public as well as the right. restaurants, exactly. win, 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 win. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully I'm teaching some of these kids. Some of these kids want to get into farming now. Mm -hmm. you know, Especially um, organic, I bet you. Right. Oh, yeah. Organic draw for, yeah. you know, well, in line for with what you say, too, I just uh, heard recent, the other day where the AFL CIO is having a whole week this month in October, America wants to work. Mm. And they're doing it all over the country. Mm -hmm. with these various forums and really a big public relations yeah. push for Washington to recognize the fact that America wants to work. Yeah. Right? So that's, well, just, that's just what this, you're saying. Just yeah. this morning, uh, the, uh, the hygienist that cleaned my teeth, I was asking her because she was uh, she got out of the tech in 2004. And I said, uh, why did you stay here? She said, well, she said the obvious thing is, you know, uh, I grew up here, uh, my family's here. And I and I was able to get a job here, so mm -hmm. you know, so when we have all of the piety about you know, for encouraging kids to stay here after they finish their education, the key thing is, is there an opportunity, so right. you know, let's right. say to make a living, yeah. and, and certain farming is you know is, is an alternative. Well, that's our thinking too. I mean, we we do want to extend the season with the, with the you know the pork. And mm -hmm. My idea is to do about two hundred. Uh, pigs a year. I mean, and everybody says, oh, it stinks and stuff, but it doesn't. When they're grazing like that, you can go with those pigs out front to get fed vegetables and not slop. I mean, you really can't. There is no very little odor or anything. Well, my, my recollection was it was what you, what the, uh, uh, the what slop was rather than what the pigs were. Pigs are very clean. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about the solar PV stuff uh -huh. that yeah. you're doing? Yeah. Um, the solar we, we put up there, um, there's a little bit of, we're having a little bit of problem with the inverters on the, on the panels which are underneath themselves. They, we've got two that are out. The other part problem we're having is then start coming down and putting in a transformer that um, does the wattage. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're actually, we're still paying very minimal. I mean, it's very minimal for what it was last year. But uh, we've been on Instar for about three and a half months to come down and put a transformer, which is supposed to, right. because every time the refrigeration unit kicks on, it kicks off the solar going into the system. Oh, yeah. Okay. But back up, you got a grant from the MTC, yeah, we, technology. We got uh, grants from um, USDA and RCS, Equip. Uh, we got a uh, grant from CCRC, which is the, the Massachusetts Energy. Yep. Um, we got a um, grant money from um, uh, oh God MassAg, and we got grant money from uh, 
Uh, it was the Treasury Department. They gave, they gave us a, a tax break and they went back into paying for our, right. that. So um, it was good. And then we put up um, about $5,000 too. So. Do you know what the yeah. system size is? Do yeah. You know the system it's 9.8. Oh, all right. Probably. So that's a good size. Yeah. So it, it it should be good as far as, I mean, it should be generating all the electricity needs for us. But it's, at this point, it, it's not. All right. You got some issues there. So We've got a few issues, but the main issue is getting NSTAR down here to put in it. All right. I, I think it's, it does, when NSTAR size is transformed, it's usually for diversity of load. In other words, not just one customer. No. Are you paying demand charges? Uh, in other words, you get an energy bill and you get a dem you know, demand on their system. Is that part of your bill? I think so, yes. Okay, if that's part of your bill they, and they've undersized the transformer for your service, that's, you know, that's the argument for, the, for them to come in and have an appropriately sized transformer for the kind of load because if you have everything coming on at once, and that's, a syst that's a system surge you know, uh, going back on the transformer and the transformer right. usually has to have some type of a uh, an intermediate, uh, like a capacitor, that basically reduces the direct surge on your transformer. So instead of replacing the transformer, they might just have to take a look at the engineering of it, so that when you're you know, when you're coming online, you're not you know you're not basically attacking the, uh, the radio capacity of the transformer. It's like having years ago they used to have fuses uh, that had a had a spring in them. Okay, and that was to take the surge, and because the actual capacity of the circuit was you know was, was much lower. But, uh, anyway, should know that. Yeah, well, they, they've been down twice so far and, and did work orders and they seem to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we can help you with that. Yeah, yeah I'd love to be helped with that. <laughs> Mr. Doherty, since, since we're talking solar, just to remind you, this office, extension office right. here, is run by solar. This is our, we were, and I see the windows are open. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we installed uh, solar panels eight, seven years ago June so we're in our eighth year mm -hmm. of operating by the sun here we have six computers refrigerator freezer and all the lights and it doesn't do all of our needs but pretty much yeah all of that was one of the first systems we put yep. in yeah 2.4 uh, kw yeah. 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 yeah okay so you're operating yeah. refrigeration yeah but not Refrigeration, refrigerator, a freezer, and the that's a pretty standard. Yeah, I would say it's domestic. Yeah, it's domestic. Now, actually, yeah. would be yeah. twice that. Like yeah, so we, uh, it's a little more than half of our right. electrical needs. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a, you know we do have a big refrigerator unit down yeah. here too, so mm -hmm. we, we do need a lot of capacity. But again, I think if it was everything was working right, we, wouldn't, we probably wouldn't be paying anything <coughs> at this point. I think we ought to have to take like contact them over and talk to them about uh, motor control, uh, you know, which would you know, which would reduce the. Have they? Have they? I, I, they I, they have they have not. I was say they have. Well, they, they have. We probably they, have already got that. Yep. Yeah, they have. Um, what happened with that? There were, there were some issues. We got a contractor that was going to do some insulation and all this other stuff. And uh, when he did come in, he said that it was. Uh, it, what the cost that the compact that told him was more substantial. I mean, he, he was going to, it was more substantial for him to install it. So we kind of got, I'm not quite sure where it is. All right, we'll follow up on that then too, because yeah, that's, yeah. you know, yeah. energy efficiency is the best. <coughs> sort of. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are leaks because it's a, they're all greenhouses and the corners need to be insulated. Yeah. And it was four feet up that they were going to put these panels, you know, styrofoam panels. So. Yeah. I'm glad we practice what we preach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. Now, I did, you know, it's all been uh, good news, but I do want to bring up because that's something that I know has been on your mind a lot. The barn, we have to sort of. Oh, the barn, yeah. The barn is uh, kind of out there. Our budget, I don't want to promise anything, and it's going to be a tight year as it's been over the past few years. So, but it's certainly something that we should probably take a look at. And I know you've been probably trying to get grant money and yeah well we've tentatively you know it's it's just you kind of you kind of try to figure <coughs> where, where to go for the money i think we, we've got to go somewhere for the money because if not i mean that's going to be a disrepair there's leaks in the roof uh, i can see some boards that are going to be rotten if they're not rotten already up there uh, the windows you know, there's one out here that's blown off 
the siding was put on so crappy. I mean, it's starting to blow off. The shingles come off. They didn't put plastic siding on, did they? No. no. It's, it's a, a historical building. It's a historical uh, building. When Jack DeMello first started as the sheriff, I remember they, I think they got a small grant and they did some repairs on it, but that's the last time it was worked on. It's going to be 15 years. Oh, easily. More than that. Easily oh, 15. Yeah. It's, it really needs some TLC. Yeah, I'm wondering if we, you know, if we can tie it into some community project to where the community could uh, I'm not, you know, we do need it for our equipment, but also to be able to do something for the community. For what about community? Or something. It's a beautiful structure. It's what about the community preservation funds from Barnstable? Would they consider something like that? Thought. Because if yeah. it's a historical structure, and that's yeah. what they're doing. And you're, and you're Even if they didn't do all of it, they could maybe make hmm. a major contribution, and maybe the state historical might Or a community in day funds. thing for AmeriCorps or something? Yes, and that's just another thought, is maybe AmeriCorps. Right. Once the whole plan gets together, maybe AmeriCorps. Right. Yeah. It seems we were in a position to write an application for the CPC money because we're yeah. basically yeah. managing this property for the town. Right. Yeah. So maybe we ought to look into making that application and offer to uh, provide labor to AmeriCorps in order to support the change. Yeah. I mean, put those two things together. You know, the, the only thing I can see is I still needed to store my seed and the tractor right. and equipment and all that stuff, but there is enough room in there for rooms. I mean, the actual, it is, it's a big farm. And I don't know how we could go about doing that. But. Well, I think the community preservation, you're pre preserving like a historic exactly. thing. Right. Yeah. So it would still be a barn. I don't think we're suggesting doing something yeah. else with it. And then maybe AmeriCorps could provide some labor sort of free labor kind of thing. That, you know, so sort of trying, CPA maybe can get put up some capital money right. just to buy the stock. Well, yeah, so you know, even, you'll need to find out when, Barnes, when the Barnesville Community Preservation yeah. Committee, uh, uh, what their filing date is for their applications. Mm -hmm. And have, and yeah, then you'd have to have something well, solid in terms of what the costs were going to be. Yeah, that's the thing. And, and, and we've sort of talked about this before, and I think I probably should get an engineering firm out there. Just have somebody take a look yeah. at it and say, you know, roof, yeah, some so siding. You know, and then you have to go with your presentation to the committees. You know, they ask you to come with your yeah. application and make a presentation. And, right. uh, so I think you'd be, we'd be happy and right. uh, yeah, to do what we could to support it. You, yeah, you could great. also call Sarah Korjeff over at the commission, you Cape Cod Commission, yeah. Yeah. Um, because she does all of their historical, right. you know, she's their historical yeah. expert there. Mm -hmm. And they could even help you sort of look at that building and how would you design it so that you could have a public space along with your storage mm -hmm. space. And that could be part of your your plan to the community saying, you know, not only are we asking you to preserve this building so I can keep my tractor right. dry, yeah. uh, but but this is really a community benefit because now it will be open for, you know, different speakers. Or, and Sarah could also help with Mass Historical. With the Mass Historical. Because so she they could have help guide too, you yeah, she, to where she those would know be. That process. What was it about? What was it about constructed right here? Well, you know, down below, I think it says that it's 1876. Oh, so you might have to put it on more than 10 That's the only part that's original equipment. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I get a feeling that it was rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. Right. somewhere. You know, somewhere. So have her come over and take a look at yeah, it. She you could tell you. you I mean, she that. would be able to identify different periods of when it was and and really, um, and even different engineering firms that would respect yeah. that. And yeah. So it would be good to call her in, and then if there's grants yeah. and other stuff they can help you with, it would be you know, right. an, Another suggestion would be the Cape Tech School in Harwich. Yes. Yeah. 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 Maybe they so could uh, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Once, far in advance right. well, once we know what the, the plan is, is right. maybe they could provide right. the carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, right. they, they've done that for other projects. But you're thinking about having a big square dance in the middle of it, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. I don't think that would be appropriate. Would it be fun that you could have a Halloween square dance? And oh, okay. Yeah, it would be all kinds yeah. of great stuff. Upper Cape Tech, too. Yeah. 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 Upper Cape, yeah. too. Barnstable yeah. part of the Upper Cape? Or, uh, I'm not sure. Barnstable part. Of the upper cape. Part. No, I'm talking about the, the district for the, the kids that go to the Upper Cape. I don't think no, it really no. matters. No, it, it doesn't but really matter. But Barnstable is one of the eight towns that are part of the lower. the. Uh, Cape Tech down in Howard. Right. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. Then they, that's appropriate. Uh, 
What, what was that Kale's name again? So Gorgeous. Oh, it's it's K O R J. I think it's J E F. Yeah, it's not there. So it sounds that way. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Spells. 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 Spells.
The only problem here with doing it is uh, it's a long, but it's very long term. I mean, you can get production in the second year, you get a little third year, you get a little bit more fourth year, should be fine. But with a seven year lease, I mean, that's a it's a substantial uh, investment. So you have the same problem with beach bombs too, don't you? Because they only they only bear fruit every two years. Uh, depending. I mean, you either take the canes down for the ones that bloom, so the other ones come up. I don't sure. grow them. don't grow them. I don't grow them. You grow them for plants for uh, conservation. Good as conservation. Plant things, but yeah. no fruit. So, if I may, you just mentioned the seven year lease. Are we looking, what are we looking at? We're looking at. Um, That's the most, yes. Yeah. Okay, we, we need a lease. Uh, we need a uh, vote. Uh, uh, we you can, can read this off there. All right, so we're we're going to extend your your lease now for this for seven more years. So that would bring you up until January twenty fifth, two thousand excuse me, February twenty fifth, two thousand nineteen. God willing, we're all here <laughs> in two thousand nineteen. Is that motion? Hopefully, we're all alive. Is that a motion? Yeah, yeah. I will. I. Uh, I will make a motion that we extend uh, your lease for seven more years. I think you're doing a great job, and you're going to need all that time to look, look towards the future. I'll second. Right. Said there'd be a motion to second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, I'm not voting member. I said aye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Great. Well, actually, the Thing that, the point that you agree is the most important thing. Yes, you really want to agree. Yeah. Yeah. So we should probably take a little tour. You want to just uh, sure. take a little tour? Yeah. Okay. okay. Unless you want to um, do the finish? vote first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. That. Well, we do the vote. Uh, have all of you let them in? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have any corrections? No. No. I have a correction. Uh, we did not indicate in the minutes that we had a vote with regard to approving the charge and the membership, as well as, as as well as the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, commission. The appointment. The, 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 appoint the appointment of them being allowed to add people as yeah, they saw fit. Okay. okay. So that the uh, minutes have to be amended to reflect that. Mm -hmm. And I believe the vote was 3 zip. Right. I would move approval of the minutes as amended. A second. Okay. And um, we're, we're going to be voting separately on that. So yeah. All those in favor of the minutes? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, and I, and uh, so on the, on the needs action. Uh, we need a motion for that. I move Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Bill, just let me have that. Aye. Okay. Get your minutes so I can give those to. Is this going to take a little while? Jeez, no, we're done. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. We just did. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Look at what you guys got for it. That's really tough. Really just still. Just still. money for home first programs. There's all of these different 
programs where money is coming in, but there's such caveats and such low income that we don't have those prevention dollars to help people with working, you know, families. Met, you know, working families. You know, I had a medical bill this year, so this month, so my rent is going to suffer. I need money for the rent, and for many people, it's that one-time help. Um, we've already met, actually, on Friday. Um, David Willard, Estella Fritzinger, and myself met with Dan Willard, Dave, oh, Dan Wolf on this. And we are, uh, Dan and I are going to meet with um, people with DHCD uh, to bring that message even there's forward. There's a new, Tina Brooks has left. She has, there's, yeah. there's not a new person appointed yet. So we're just going to be talking to Robert Polster because nothing's going to happen until a new person really is instituted. The need is now. I, I know the need is now. That's why we're going to go to him. So I have a call on to him and, um, uh, and he really feels that, you know, <clears throat> at this point we could, I mean, this was Dan's suggestion that he and I go to him together. So you have enough, uh, let's say, information to, to back up what the need is. I, I, there's a lot of statistics. I on know it. that we have from the regional network, but if you have like a town specific that you want to just to give as an example for the town, I'd be happy to bring that up as well and, and uh, put them in the mix. Well, on the, uh, you see the human service advisory people, you have you, do you have a subcommittee uh, on homelessness? Yes. Okay, and, and the affect. Are there any of those people going to be providing information for you? Well, we have an executive committee, and our meeting is going to be next week, so I'll bring this up. And if any information, and we have, Beth has all of the information you're going to you're going to need on any of this. So we have all of the statistics, but we're way, we're way, way ahead of you. No, we understand that the prevention dollars are the dollars that got cut, and those are the most important, and we use the most effectively. All right, a key, a key part of this is, uh, is when you're talking to the secretary or somebody who signs a check, is there has to be some easy method of access for these families because if we add more bureaucracy to it, it's not going to be helpful. We've got to, because the, you know, because the, you know, the, the need is immediate and now right. we're, we're seeing an enormous escalation of, you know, of need as far as the, you know, the kind of request we're getting you know, for the funds that we had because we depleted. We had the, like about $20,000 last year and that's all gone. We're looking for 50 now. You know, mm -hmm. for the for the you know, out, out of the same fund, so it's essential that we have some money to keep people in their homes, people who are working here, people right. who uh, whose family would be completely disrupted. So I'm hoping that you use all the resources that you know that are available from the Human Service Advisory Committee, and if they are available to go with you, should bring me because there's nothing like a mob going in and saying, you know, right. No, there's, no, some, I, there's, there's some doubt when you talk to the people up there about what's going on because we're all supposed to be rich. No, I, I, I think they understand. They've heard that, that before. And um, so it really is just trying to find out and also just try to find out how we can change some of the mechanism of how the money comes here because it's under such a requirement that you're you're trying to fit people into, the, you're trying to put, you know, square pegs into round holes to be able to give them this money that they need. And some of that has to be freed up for just those prevention dollars that can be available readily right, instead well. of going through all this paperwork. So that's really the ask that we're, we're presenting and it's right in line of what you're saying. Okay, there are, there are several avenues by which people uh, are approaching, you know, uh, HACK is one of them, mm -hmm. um, uh, the uh, Haven Islands, uh, is it Estella Fritz when goes out to mm -hmm. And every one of the housing authorities is, is getting approached you know, for support. So you've right. got three you've got three agencies that are available right, right now to provide direct access to you know, to the community. My concern with the you know if, if the county is going to become the gatekeeper on this, we don't provide direct services. So somehow we have to engage and involve the people that are talking to the, you know, to the people. Well, that need these through the services. through the whole prevention network, that's what all this is. I mean, that's what we've been doing for the last two years. Mm -hmm. We've been controlling the money. Mark, you know, we can account for every dollar that's spent, which is what is somewhat different. But it's also these executive committees. I mean, we meet twice. And we replace it feels like. That. Yeah, well, Alan has gone. He's yeah, he's in another job, but have you, have you replaced him yet? we have not yet replaced him. She's yeah, going through a second round of she right. has a second round of interviews, but it's not just all Alan. So we are the executive committee mm -hmm. meets on these issues. We divvy up the money accordingly. Uh, hack. We're all part of this regional network, so we're very well aware of this problem. We're uh, pushing forward in every way we can. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So we'll keep you posted. Is Dan, you know, now that the, the surplus for this year is up to 457 million, right. 
in, and, and some of that money is going to be available in the supplemental budget. Maybe yes. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, that's what that we're sort of thinking there? about. I mean, God knows um, how that's all. I'm sure everybody's looking at that uh, supplemental well, over every are, angle. Right? And every, if, if no, I mean, are, we, I've been looking at it in four different back. ways. Believe Make sure there's a piece that makes it easy, not harder we, for people. That's exactly what we're trying to do. We're also, you know, we're advocating for the streamlining of the applications and all of this stuff. And also, how can we keep track of these people to make sure that that one time fix did help them and it's not an indicator that they're gonna that they're getting into a, a worse situation. But Bill, you know how you can be helpful is I would call Beth and tell Beth the the specific story that exactly you have right. so that she can bring that to the meeting. Exactly. So right. That's you know especially and I will bring the it to we're gonna that's be that's really <laughs> helpful if you have a specific yeah. instance about yeah. this person with this <clears> could have been helped, blah blah blah. That's right. that's the best thing. Um, so we are going to go on the tour. Um, uh, I assume we didn't get to sign those things. I did. You did. Okay. Oh, I didn't. You know, but I will. Okay. Or you can. I'll come back and do it. Okay. So can we just leave them here? Are we in recess or are we adjourning? We are recessing we are to recess. the assembly. Right? To the assembly. Recess. That's well, not necessarily. That's four no, o'clock. Yeah, we're going to. Well, then you're going to. Yeah, we're going to reconvene. Then we don't reconvene. Yeah, well, we're Since we don't get up there, we're going to. I'm going. to What is that? Surprise. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm going because. We're adjourning. Yeah, we're adjourning. We are going to adjourn. I will make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Thank you. Here we are talking about this. Hear what's going on up top too over oh, here. That was the oh, upper barn for the young cows. But oh. and when they stopped that, they used to have Sheriff Camillo and then I believe Sheriff Cones who just started to have a movie for prison and then they had a little bit of 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 so there's two, is there a, there's a, a, two stories to this? Yeah, well, there's a lot. A lot. Yeah. And then underneath is a, is what was the milky? Milky power. Take a look at that, too. But this here, I, I do want to do this over in the value of the kitchen. I guess we want to find some fun. We could have some ramp on here or something. But this is a good example. See the yeah. wood that needs to be replaced there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this. Is the cows you know, are there's different spots in here, Mark. I mean, there's spots that need to be. Yeah. You need to have a structural. Yeah, it just needs here. to get buttoned up. Yeah. It, it does. I mean, it really does. It, it's a beautiful yeah. structure. It's the way high it is a beautiful structure. The roof is leaking. Yeah. I mean, you, you could actually you could hold dances or classes or whatever in here. It'd be yeah. great. It, uh, Don Ingalls came in. See where it's burnt up there? Yeah. I guess when they were re they were redoing it, oh, yeah. um, the welder, we had a welder in here doing something, but oh, they caught on fire. <laughs> wow. And I'm not sure what, what, what he was welding, but you, get, you see a little bit here, too. But it's got a beautiful loft there. I mean, this this the bad thing about this, they had horses in here, and uh, when horses urinate on wood, it usually promotes... Um, Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, the truck had the mode control there. Right. Exactly. But, but this actually, this, I, I would think you could take that. Uh, you know where most of the horse cars are drawn by? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're in the third floor of the ground floor. Because 
basically, you know, we use it for storage. It's kind of a mess now, but... Um, and it depends. you got to put your... Oh, yeah. I think, they, like, the case tactics is good for the windows and so forth. That would be... Just think of the disposable glass. Yeah. 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 William County, Prince. And I can't yeah. <laughs> but I have to take a look at it on the map. But it was right, it was right there by Howard. This little bit. Boy, we sunk more money into this. Um, I think that guy come down from uh, what, What's the map? Yeah. 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 Yeah
there's only one vegetable grow, but I guess in the market itself, but they have meat cases at the farmer's markets. The fresh meat. Washington, D.C., they do that. Yeah. I've got this article. Oh, it's, it's, you can't do fish on the product. Well, they get, I thought you they, know, we, they had more bureaucrats than we were doing. Yeah. 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 The other thing that was interesting was Just the other two. 